Hello everyone, I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Um, let's make some mixed media collage style art dolls. I picked up this set of six um, art doll stencils from Amazon. They were £5.79 and I'll leave the link um, to where I got them from in the description box below. But let me just show you, as I've said, there are six of these. Um, let me just tell you what they measure. Here's my ruler. They are eight inches by um, just under six inches. So we've got that design. Let me just quickly show you all the different designs. Really whimsical, but I think we can have lots of fun with these. There's that one. And then finally, um, this one here as well. I love this one. In fact, I think my favourites um, are this one and this one here. So that's maybe what um, I'll use today. Absolutely love those. Um, I also thought that we could use some of the vellum papers from the Your Creative Studio box because um, when I did my video a couple of weeks ago, many people said, you know, can you please share ideas for using vellum papers? So I thought, you know, maybe seeing as these are still on my desk, we could use some of these. So let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to start off by using this stencil here and I've got a piece of um, cardi cotton paper. You could use regular cardstock at the end of the day, mix media paper, use whatever you have. And I'm just going to trace my design. I don't want to um, waste any of my, my paper, but I'm just going to use my mechanical pencil here. Whoops, I've um, moved it and just um, draw around these these shapes so really quick and um, easy to do and then when I get to her body I'm just going to go on the inside here and you'll see why I'm going on the inside in a second so there we have it. That's the basic shape of my art doll. And I just want to cut her out um, with a pair of scissors. So I'm just going to go off and, um, and do that now. So now I want to decorate her and I've got a load of the papers lying around on my desk um, from the Your Creative Studio Box um, video that I shared a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I thought I might use some of these. Um, I've got a paper pad here with some of these wonderful papers in and I've pulled this one out, which I'm just going to add to the background. Let me just move all of this out of the way. Now, bring back my stencil and what have I done with my pencil here it is and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace around my shape how do I want to um, do this maybe I do it um, about here yeah I think I will yeah, just centralise it. It doesn't really matter. But this time I'm going to draw on the outside of her body. I know this is going to leave me with some areas that I need to um, trim down, but that's OK. And you'll see in a second why I'm choosing to do it um, this way. Because we have her neck and now what I want to do is just draw an outline for her her neck and again what I'm going to do is is cut around this and um, just trim this bit off here as well so I'm just going to cut around where I've made that neckline I don't need the um, top part and if I've got any pencil marks showing on my neck then I can always just trim, uh, just rub those off and then I'm just going to stick this on. Let me just get rid of the um, pencil marks at the top. Don't, I, I don't mind about the ones on the outside because I'm going to cut those away. And then what I shall do is just stick this onto um, her like, um, like this. And as I've said, I'm just going to use a glue stick to do that. I think the easiest way to do this is to apply it to the back of the paper rather than to the doll herself. 
because otherwise I'm going to get it on the neck area in places where I don't want any glue. So I'm choosing it to do, do it this way. Of course, you can do it um, any way you like. Let me just open this out now and I'm going to stand up to do this to make sure I get that in the right in the right place and then I'm just going to trim away all of the excess paper from from the edge. The next thing I want to do is bring in um, some vellum to use to cover this book text. That one there is really pretty. That one's a bit too busy. I quite like that one there and I like this one here. So let me just pop those out of the way and let's try this. Let's audition um, these and see which which might look um, best. You see the poppy is gorgeous. I really um, like that. I also like um, like this design here um, as well. That's very nice too. You see that one's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. The flower, um, the flowers are tiny enough um, that it just works really well. And in fact, actually, that's given me an idea as to what I might be able to do with her hair. I do like that with the dragonfly in the centre, but I do think that I'm going to go for this one here. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing again. I am just, I want to try and save as much of this as is possible. And again, I'm just going to draw my outline on the outside so that I can trim it um, perfectly to make sure that it definitely fits. And so again, I shall just grab my scissors and cut, cut this out. I can just about see um, my, my outline. So where does, where does it end? Because I want to um, trim this part off here. I think what I'll do is I'll take that off to the um, paper trimmer first. So I've managed to save this piece of uh, vellum paper that I can use for something else. And it's now made my outline easier to see as well. So I'll just go ahead and cut, cut this out as well. I need to do my neckline, don't I? Now, how did I... How did I want to do to do that? Let's just make sure that that's in the right place. And there is her neckline. And so you can see the beautiful text paper underneath this vellum. I was a little bit off there, but it's okay. I can slice a tiny amount um, off the bottom. I'm going to use glue stick again. Let's grab a fresh piece of um, parchment paper to catch the excess glue. And I'm just going to add glue stick all over the back. Um, glue stick works fine with parchment paper. And of course, you could stick uh, stitch this on your sewing machine if you wanted to. I probably won't do that today. So plenty of glue, especially around your, your edges. And open this out. I just keep recycling my parchment paper and using it over and over and over again. This has started to curl. So I'm just going to fiddle around with this. Make sure that I've got all of it covered. I could do with a bone folder. See if I can find one. Here we are. And I'm just going to make sure that I've got that properly pressed down. And I'm just going to trim away um, the excess. I could do with sliding that one over a tad. But doesn't that look pretty? Now, how about we give her some red hair? So we can do exactly the same thing here. Choose a portion of the paper like this. And again, I'm just going to draw around my, my hairline. 
And again, I'm just going to go away and cut, cut this out. And so I shall rub out all of my pencil marks and that's her hair. I'm going to rub the pencil marks off the vellum as well. Of course, I've only got that just around the very outside. And then I can stick her on with my glue stick as well. And that's her beautiful um, red hair, which matches her dress perfectly. This is how my doll is looking at this stage. I've had her weighted down underneath a heavy book for about half an hour or so. Um, you can see I've also drawn her chin in um, and her face. I've done this off camera because I am just not very confident um, with drawing. But, you know, if I hold that up, feel free to do something similar, pause it um, if you want to, really simple. So what I'm going to do now is go over um, her facial um, markings, her eyes, her eyebrows, nose, etc. with a fine liner pen. Mine's the Marvi Uchida because then what I want to do is just um, add maybe a bit of sort of flesh coloured drawing pencil. I want this to be loose and scribbly. We've got the suggestion of some um, eyelashes here. Not too many. And then we'll just draw in her nose. Going over that bit really lightly. And then her, her lips. maybe thicken it um, a little bit there and I think I like how how that looks now I've dried the ink with my heat tool just to make sure that I'm not going to smudge anything so let's get rid of these these pencil lines and you see that's much softer now I'm really happy with that and I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencil so this is the Prismacolor premier set I've had this for years and I'm going to use this skin co uh, tone color and I'm just going to very 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 lightly hardly pressing with my my pencil at all and I'm just going to go over her face now we're going to get some texture, which is quite nice from the Cardi paper, which was the reason that I decided to use this, because I thought it would add interest to the areas where I wasn't adding any collage. And so that looks quite nice. And I can build up some more colour on her cheeks. Give her a bit of bit of blush. I'm doing this really gently because I don't want to go overboard with this. But I just thought the white was just um, too stark and white, so I like how that how that looks. I can just build this up really, really gradually. So that's how she's looking now. She's got a little bit more colour. I think we should maybe add some darker tint to her lips as well. So I'm just going to add, yep, yeah, you see that's lifted her by adding some pink to her lips as well. Now I was wondering whether I could add something to her hair and I was thinking maybe half of this flower here might work. We could use something like that. I do feel that it's a little bit too big, but I found this on one of the other stencils. And I'm just wondering whether I can add a piece of this. I'm going to try it because, you know, if it doesn't work, I don't have to add it. But nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. I'm going to try and get it as straight as possible because I know that it will really bother me um, if the writing is wonky. So... Again, I'm just going to draw around the outline and go and cut this out. And I might add some vellum over the top as well. So I've got my piece of, of text here. I'm going to do exactly the same with a piece of, um, of this. 
which part do I like the best? I think I like this part here where the flowers are a bit um, busier. So I'm going to do the same. And so let's rub off the pencil markings again and make this nice and clean. And then I can glue these two parts together. So out with your glitter glue. And I'm just going to put a small amount just in the centre here. bit here as well. Let's stick these down. I'm just going to hold that there for a minute or two. Now isn't it funny you do things and sometimes they just don't work out. It just doesn't suit um, her hairstyle. It's, it's too twee for her but I just love it there um, on the top of her dress. So I think that's where I'm going to add it. Isn't that pretty? Now, before I stick anything else down, I just want to ink around the edges just to cover up any of my wonky lines, to add some definition as well. Just look what a difference um, that makes. Yeah, I like that um, a lot. I'm going to try and get in here as well. I'm going to go all the way around her hair. Add a highlight to to her hair as well, some darker ink here. And I'm doing the same with that little bow as well, just to define that and make it stand out more on her dress. And I'm just going to glue the bow down with some art glitter glue. I don't need much. Make sure I glue this on the right way round. I think that will do fine. And then we've got a little bit of dimension. I did end up inking um, underneath on the paper as well, the text paper. Make sure I've got that in the right place and wipe away any excess. And I'm just going to leave that to sit for a second or two and decide what I might want to do next. So now I'm wondering whether she needs some wings. I've got various Tim Holtz wings here. And I'm just trying out the colours. I think I'd have it, um, have them something like, like this, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe this orange one. I don't want to introduce any more colours, which is why I've chosen the ones that I have. You see, I think those, that one there is too small. It just, it's just not right. The same with this one here. It's just too small. I think this one is going to be my best option. What I'm going to do is cut it in half and get rid of the um, antenna. So let's just, in fact, let's cut this off like that and then we can get rid of, rid of these bits. I think I also want to get rid of the white around the edge as well. Let me just get rid of this because I can't focus when I've got too many things lying lying around. So let me just clear off um, some of this debris. There we are. And let's see what, um, see what this looks like. Now, which way round do these need to go? You see, I think that would look really cute. Wouldn't that look pretty? So I just need to be careful about how I position um, her wings but I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's try inking first so that we don't have to cut everything away. See if we can cover up this white which leaves us with a bit more area to play with as well. Yeah you see I think that looks fine. So we'll do the same with the with the other one. And then I think I'm going to add her to my Your Creative Studio journal. I'm going to leave that for a second or two, I think, to dry before I start doing anything with it and have a bit of a tidy up. And so there she is. I'm going to glue her wings down about there, I think. And I'm just going to use art glitter glue to do that. I'm just going to apply a bit just on the edge here. Let me just, let me just see. think about there and I'm just going to weight each side down um, under a heavy book until that glue grabs because this um, these um, butterfly wings are a, a kind of shiny 
shiny card stock. So let's just make sure that I get that one symmetrical because otherwise I know that that's going to really, really bother me. Let me stand up just to make sure that that looks straight. I think that's about right, isn't it? It does not have to be perfect. So let's find a spot for her in my journal. Now I need to find a page, of course, that is big enough to house her. So something like that would be fine, but I don't like the blue. Maybe I could put her there. I think I will. Um, is there anywhere else? I think, you see, most of my pages are filled up. I don't like her next to the blue. I don't think that really goes. So yeah, I'm going to stick her here and then we'll see if we can find something to go um, in here. Let me take this out this way because I've got things on the other side and I don't want to tear my paper. It's getting a bit tight in this journal now. So I'm just going to remove this page. Keep that open so that I know where I need to, where it, it needs to go back. And I need to do something with the background because that is just too plain. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to use um, another piece of this design. It's just the thin paper design, the same design of the vellum that I've used. But I just think it looks lovely um, and cohesive as a background. So what I am going to do is glue this on here like this. And then I'm going to use some of the washi tape just to fill in um, the sides. What have I got um, on the back here? So I think what I'll do is I'll place the washi tape down um, first, just on the sides here like that. And then I think um, I'll ink the edges and I'll pop that down on top and just trim the excess off. I'm adding some glue stick to the washi because this doesn't feel that sticky to me. Some of them are more sticky um, than, than others. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. So we'll add a bit of glue just to help it on its way. And I'm just going to glue some down, as I've said, on each each side. Isn't that washi tape? Absolutely beautiful. The colours are really vibrant. Sometimes the washes can be a bit um, dark in some of these sets, but I think this one um, is really, really lovely. So I'm just inking the edges and then I'm just going to stick this down in the centre like that. I think that's beautiful. That's that glued on. I think it looks really pretty. And then I'm going to use art glitter glue. I'm going to ground her on the bottom here as well. And I'm just using art glitter glue as opposed to glue stick, just because this has got quite thick um, and heavy now. So there she is back in the journal. She looks absolutely glorious. I love this page. Um, now, I'm wondering whether I could use one of these pieces here that I made in the last Your Creative Studio um, video to put in the pocket here. We've got this tag and I think colour wise that matches really well. Of course, it's from the same um, colour pack. I need to eventually add something onto the bottom here. I'm not going to do that today. Um, and then eventually I will add these to the journal as well. I've added stitching to these since um, the last video and I'll leave the link to the video showing how I made all of these um, and showing the contents from the box that I used. Um, I think these are gorgeous and the stitching has just added so much. There's the beautiful dragonfly page and of course this one here with the dimensional butterfly as well. So, you know, I will show you what um, where I end up putting these probably um, in the next video, but I'm going to leave it here, I think, for today. Now I will be back with more ideas for using these stencils. It's just filled me with inspiration. I can think of so many ways to use them, but I hope it's given you some um, inspiration and ideas for using vellum pieces, which I know that many of you were um, asking for. So if you've enjoyed today's video, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below, but most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.